Typically when you're building a door, you would put the panel in this groove. But because we're running a, a, this type of molding, it can't be coped. And I don't want to have the panel in there and then not be able to attach that. So what we've got here is uh, our panel is stave core construction. Okay, and we've made these which will float the panel and give us an area for the molding to attach. Let me show you here. And here's one, it's just dry assembled. Now that will come and we will glue that into our channel there. And now our beluction molding gets attached there. Yet this panel can float. So this is the side it's pushed through and we'll, uh, we'll put uh, sticks in there. So put a very generous bead there. And that presses into the interior, uh, mostly for airlock. Okay, you're pretty much never gonna get that tight with uh, assembling it the other way. It's just impossible. Uh, you wouldn't be able to get the door together. And this will, this will ooze into all of those and seal it. So, uh, Not too bad, you know. I like I like a I like a narrow wedge. Uh, it just means that your joint was fitted better. Uh, if you have to pound and get really wide wedges, the mortise is generally sloppy. Sloppy. All good woodworking. Mill work. Should be painted with a brush and it should always be painted in the direction of the grain. It should never crisscross. You always need to drag it out in the direction of the grain. You would stop here and drag your line here. 
It's just brush practice. And I am not one for a spray finish. Um, although I understand that that is a economical way of doing things. A brush finish done well is highly superior for historical work. Anyway, the walnut door being painted red on the exterior side best way is lying flat. Thanks.